what did we work on yesterday in math? Pluses and minuses. Do you remember what we called them? Um, Very good. Related facts. But remember, there's also something I can, excuse me, I can call them as well. Back family. Very good. Okay. I am so glad you guys remembered those words. Very good. That's what we're going to do again today. So who can help me out? If I have 3 plus 2 equals 5, what else do I need to make my fact family? Do it in like 5. Just. Do it like 5. Yeah. Five Not five of them. How many um, number sentences? Am I, excuse me. How many number sentences am I going to have? Two. Two that are. No, they're not doubles. Two and two that. Okay, very good. Two that are going to be minus or subtraction, and then very good. Two that are going to be pluses. I already have an addition fact here. So now, what should we do for our next one? Would you come up and write my next addition fact? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want the family. <coughs> hmm. Is this what you would have done? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yeah, That's what I would have done. What did she do? She switched the two and the three around. Very good. So now we have both of our, our addition sentences. So I'm done with adding. I can't add any excuse me, any differently. So now I need to um, minus one. I need to subtract. Would you come up and do that for me? Same numbers in the family. Except when we subtract, what are we going to start with? When we, sub when we subtract, what are we going to start with? Is that a family? No, why not? It doesn't have the same number. So, I want you to come back here. When I subtract, what number do I have to start with? Why? Very good. So let's start with that number first. <coughs> we should not use our fingers because we're going to get our answer. There you go. Excellent. Okay, now I only have one more left because I have my two addition and now my two subtraction. What number did he start with? Why? Why? It's the biggest number. Even though I started the other one with five? It has to be 
It has to be. Yeah, I have to start that way. But the thing that is going to be different is the three numbers. And you're going to switch the other two numbers around. Okay? It's okay. Click away. Click away from it. There you go. There you go. Very good job. We are doing fact families again today. However, we are going to have to see what is a part of the family. So, I want you to get out your top colorful page. And I want you to listen up to the story. We're just going to listen. We're not going to write anything now. Okay? Okay, I want you to listen to the story and see if you can um, picture it in your brain. Are you ready? Use red and blue cubes to show 4 plus 9 equals 13. Draw red and blue cubes to show a related subtraction fact. What subtraction sentence can you write? Is this a subtraction sentence right here? No, it is not. It is an addition sentence. So, it is not wanting the addition sentence. It is wanting a subtraction sentence. Did you picture that in your brain? Okay. So, I want you to come down here and write your subtract subtraction sentence. So, okay, now we are going to draw our picture. So, how many cubes am I going to start with? 13. So I want you to draw 13 cubes. Some of us took away four, but some of us took away nine. Is one of us wrong? No. No. We're both both of you are right. Because remember, just like our fact family is here, there's two different subtraction sentences we could have done. <laughs> Excuse me. So... If you wrote 13 minus 4 here, then you need to cross out how many? 4. But if you wrote 13 minus 9, you need to do what? Take away. Take away 9. Not only does our picture show the answer, but I should know the answer how. I can't I said That's not only answer. from the picture, but how are we going to figure it out? What did you tell me earlier? By up here. Does it give, me, give us the answer? Yeah. Yes, it does. So what number am I missing up here? Four. Four. That may not be the case for you. It may be different for you, but this is what I am missing. Okay. Now, first grade, I want you to put your pencils down, and I want you to look up here. 
Thank you. Oops. Is this what I just wrote a family with this subtraction yeah. fact? Yes. Is it? It doesn't make sense because what does 9 minus 4 equal? 5. It equals 5. Is it my family? No. no. It is not my family. I have a 9 and I have a 4. But do I have a five? No. no. No, I don't. So you guys need to be able to recognize if it is your family or not. And that's what we're doing today. I want you to turn your papers over. We will do this up here later, but for right now, I want to look at number one. Do you see how number one kind of has a box around those two? Okay, raise your hand if you know what six plus four equals. Good, it is 10. I want you to write 10. Whoops. Raise your hand if you know what 10 minus 4 is. 6. Are these two related? Uh -huh. Yes, because I have 10 and a 10. I have a 6 and a 6. Yes, because they are related. If it did not match up, could I circle them? No. Why not? No, that's not the family. Because it's not your family. Just like on the front, could I have circled these? Uh -uh. Why not? Because they're not the same. They're not the same. They're not related, so I'm not going to circle them. Do you understand what we're doing today in math? Yes. 